Hop about the bed, turn my swag on, take a look in the mirror and say who's up. Nah, let's not, let's not do that. That's, no, it's nah, not. That's not it. It's not. We gotta find a different one. It's not a good intro? <laughs> nah, I thought that was a good intro, man. Nah. Well, 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 man. It's your main man, DJ Premium J. I'm here with... I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, my main man. F you to the ego. Fuego. You know, the man with the biggest ego. And it's been a minute, man. It's been a minute. Um, yeah. little break for a second for us. Um, but we back. And we just gonna hop into it. Because I guess there's nothing to do but to do it. And... I guess I'll just go ahead and say I lost the bet. Yep, yep. Always. That's that's two and oh. I'm like two and oh. The air just went off here in the studio. <laughs> and, I, and look, I'm I'm hotter because of the loss. And it's just sheesh. <laughs> just doing me dirty, man. As you see my shirt, that's all folks, and that, that's it. Man, he was so high on Chris Paul and those sons, huh? Yeah, man. Congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis Antetokounmpo for winning the NBA Finals and NBA Finals MVP. Salute, salute. Shout out to Chris Middleton. Shout out to Drew Holiday. P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker. Brooke Lopez. Huntington. They all had a little. Forbes. They all played a role. Yeah, absolutely. Fear the deer, I guess. <laughs> Before we transition to the next pregame topic, I want to ask you one thing. What's up? Are we looking at a dynasty? Oh. Um, yeah, I think so. I think they will compete. I'm not going to say they will. They maybe win one, but they will compete. They will be the East. So, one, one more thing. I heard you say one. Do you see one more? At least in the next... Five years. Yeah, I'll give him that. You see another I, ring? I'll give him, maybe in the fourth year, I'll give him another ring. Because now, everybody's going to want to join them. Everybody's wanna gonna go yeah, be definitely. the hot team. You know? definitely. So. It's definitely free agency just started, and for sure, everybody wants to join that hot contending team. Yep, yep. Well, since we own it, next pregame topic, man. How did this affect CP3's legacy? I told you, I, I don't think it affected it that much. Like, I don't think he was as good as everybody held him to be. So, technically, I don't think it hurt him. I mean, I I never thought he would get a championship. So, you know, it, it didn't do anything the to me. The hate. Oh, no, it's not hate. He's a great a will. He's a great player. The hate is a will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's, yeah, a, <laughs> he's a great CP3 is a great player. So doesn't it, he? He's still gonna always be a great player with no ring. That's it. The Charles Barkleys of the world. I think this was his last chance. Mm-hmm. I think this was his last opportunity as far as going for that ring. Yeah. Um. So did he mess it up? Does, does this mess up his legacy? Is he not a top five player now? Point guard. Sorry. You cannot say he's a top five point oh. guard all time. Oh, whoa. Ten, yes, five. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll take it. I also want to say the disrespect that we've been giving Isaiah Thomas out there. Mm-hmm. I just That's true. I just want to say he is like one of the most underrated. Patty Mills just went to the Brooklyn Nets. Breaking. Breaking. Breaking news. Wow. Patty Mills just went to the free agency frenzy going on right now. Um, I guess I owe you a Giannis. Yeah, I'll take it, man. Whenever you're ready. You said the championship one? Is that is that the one you was asking for? If it's not sold out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might just have to get a regular one. You nah, know what I'm saying? Man. But I will say, I'm a man of my word. I'll go look for this championship. Okay. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. If it's sold out, I ain't, I, I I ain't going no further. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just got to be in store. Uh, 
All right, man. Let's go ahead and hop into the first quarter, which is tied along with this. Yeah. First quarter going to be all about Giannis Antetokounmpo, man. And what I want to ask you and the viewers out there is, now that Giannis had this 50 point double digit rebound game not 49 not 51 50 piece and they won four straight yeah down 0-2 mm-hmm. they beat the hot hawks yeah brooklyn Cinderella hawks they beat them yeah they beat all phases of Brooklyn, even though it kind of broke down. Yeah, Brooklyn. yeah, but they, they said Brooklyn was still supposed to win, and they lost. The question is, for this quarter is, is Giannis Antetokounmpo the best player in the NBA? Mm. I've been seeing a lot of takes out there and a lot of different suggestions, a lot of different mm, opinions that... He has now surpassed KD. Oh. I've been hearing people say he surpassed LeBron. Mm. And I don't know if it's prisoner of the moment. Trapped yeah. in this moment right now. Yep. Yeah. But I, I will say this. I'm listening to all takes on it. Because my take is Giannis has now moved into that. He leapfrogged Kawhi Leonard. Okay. See, that's what I think about Giannis at this moment. I think right now it's what do you do next from this point on? Like, you won your ring. Do you still compete or do you do just shy away? Like they say about Kawhi Leonard. They're always like, oh, he's top three. But a lot of people won't even give him that the years he lose. You know, the years they don't win, he's nowhere near the top mm-hmm. three people anymore. People just totally yeah, forget oh, oh, about him. Yeah, he's not there. So, like you said, a prisoner in the moment is where Giannis is at this point. But my take, I've never been the biggest KD fan. He's to me. If he would have won with that Thunder team, then maybe. But he went to the team who had the best record ever, you know, and went and won rings with them. Who does that count? Now you got the. Is he gonna win with the Nets? I don't think so. So, I think Giannis is a better player at this moment than KD is for sure. I do. better better than KD. I, but I've never thought that highly of KD. Not at all. Even the scorer that KD is, mm-hmm. the shooter. That's good, but it's always more to basketball than just scoring. I think people people think of basketball as just scoring. Like, oh, he was the scorer, but and that's why it's people like Westbrook who didn't even get you know didn't even get all NBA, didn't even make the All Star, right? Yeah, that's why. So it's like it's like so. When do you start looking at the players as more than shooters? You know, like what do you do other for your team than just shooting? Quick. What's your current top five now? Then? Mm. Mm. Mine, I'll start mine. LeBron's still at the king of the mountain. Okay, me. same. I just believe what he does for the league is just so more important okay. than any anything close than just picking up a ball and dribbling. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, obviously, he's still good at that, too. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to... Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. But I got him higher than KD, so yeah. I believe he's going to usher in the big man. It's back. It's back, baby. Oh, it's back, baby. All you Steph Curry <laughs> fans out there, it's back. See, I, I, I might want to calm down my talking because last time I talked like this, I lost a whole bet. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, humble, humble himself. <laughs> uh, after Giannis, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi? At three. Two way, both ways. Yeah. He proved enough to me during that Dallas series that he stealed that guy, that man, when healthy. And if he wouldn't have went down, they it might have been a little different. It, it, I don't know if Phoenix makes the finals. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't I don't pick him. So yeah. um then I'll go K D at four. At five Luka Doncic. I knew you was gonna say that. I see. Oh. I want to say Steph Curry, but I think Luka is a—he's climbing that list fast. I think. 
See, but I think I think people are just scared not to put people in that group, and and that's what that's more of what you're doing to me personally. I'm not scared to take people out of that group and move them to where they need to be. Like I don't think me personally after watching this year, I don't think KD is a top five player. Whoa. I mean, listen to me. The NBA also agreed by not putting them in the. They didn't put yeah. him in first team, second yeah, team, no, or third team. So, so what are they thinking of him? And then me is like, what has he done since he went to Brooklyn? Like, LeBron will go to the finals with whatever team he goes to, right? That's what a great player will do. That's why LeBron sits on my Mount Rushmore. Because he's taking that team to a championship contender every year. As we said on previous episodes, though, they love to hate you if you lose. Yeah, that's true. If you're a loser... You're but what has KD <laughs> done lately? Lose. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got I got Bron. No, even then, I don't know who two would be. I really don't know who two would be. Really? Yeah. It's, I think the NBA is so wide open right now. I think this is the op- yes. most open it's ever been. With with KD struggling, even with James Harden over there, like. You're getting pushed to the side to me. Like LeBron. I mean, James Harden is even, could be, has a top five. I mean, or we can, you can throw Damian Lillard. You can throw. Russ. Russ, yeah. It's, but I'll say I love me some Russell Westbrook, so I'm biased. But I just think that Giannis Antetokounmpo, him and this whole, I'm a bowl down the lane. I can't be stopped. I think that's going to divide the league as far as this. We just got to shoot. Just got to shoot. Just got to shoot. I think see, it's gonna be more gritty, defensive, I see, look, lengthy. Teams. And I used to, I used to not like. I'm not gonna say hey. I used to not like Giannis at all, but he's changed, and he found ways to still make it work. Like he actually kind of turned into a big man as far as mm-hmm. he'll attack the basket and turn around and do mm-hmm. all the things that big. He was even shooting, shooting hooks and everything. Mm-hmm. So I got, I like Gian, where Giannis is going. It's crazy you mention that because the whole finals that he played, I was wondering, did he, did he work with Hakeem? Yeah. Because some of the moves, it was real it slick. real good. But he has the he has the back down and the attack forward, you know, and it's I think that's deadly. You don't have to shoot just to, you know, and to win. You don't have to shoot. You don't have to be a shooter. You don't have to shoot threes all game. So is he definitely in your top five? Yeah. At this very moment, for sure. Three? I'll give him three. Top three. That's what I'm saying. I'm not scared to take those people out. Like, KD is not in my top five. And that's why I guess it's my top five. That's but it's, big it's not. I put Steph in my top five for sure. Look look at where he takes KD, his team. KD, if you want to hate from your burner account, go ahead, man. <laughs> go ahead, man. We'll take the view. We'll take it. You got to prove more to me. Like, when LeBron went to the Heat, what did he do? He carried that team. Yep. He carried them. You can't have all-stars on your team and not show out. He didn't perform until really the playoffs when they were gone, when Kyrie was gone. Yeah. He's like a more of a shadow player. Like with the Warriors, he performed, but Steph was killing. Like they had other people that they had to go guard. Like it wasn't a let's stop KD and then figure out what he does. Because mm-hmm. I don't think he can do it if it was just him on the team. Even with this Nets team that was all overpowered, they didn't do it. So, I, I just can't give him that credit. I, I respect, okay, that, I guess that's where I'm at. I respect the guy who's on the team, and it's his team, and he's trying his heart out. And I know LeBron is on these super teams and stuff, but LeBron will still make sure he does whatever it takes to win. And I don't think KD can do that. Oh, man, and that's quarter right there. <laughs> quarter two, quarter two, quarter two. Quarter two, we're going to transform this sports show into a movie review uh-oh, show. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Show, show. <laughs> hey, man, let's head to the movies. Space Jam 2, mm. A New Legacy mm. is out, and I have a strong take on it. Let's hear it. What you got? First, let me set it up for y'all. Quarter two is, did Space Jam 2 live up to the hype? My take on it is, I believe it surpassed the hype. My take is, 
I'm not going to give you my age, but I will say this. They did not make that movie for me or anybody around my age group. Our generation. Or older. Mm -hmm. They definitely did not. And I love that they didn't do that. Everybody else seems to have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Or they want it to be some critically acclaimed. It's, It's a movie for kids. Yeah. This is not a critically acclaimed M. Night Shyamalan twister. Oh my God. Did you see that? Tw- it's not that, people. I love the message behind it being you Absolutely. need to listen to your kids more and follow not, their dreams. Yes, let them follow their dreams and yeah. not force yours on yeah. them. Absolutely. Um, I love Don Cheadle in it. Yeah. Um, I like, I'll tell you what I really love. Well, it had me like, oh, this is cool. Had me like a kid. When they went to the court, in the background, all the characters from other movies. Man in Black. I was finding myself like, oh, look, they go in. They go in. All in the crowd waiting for somebody to see. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was cool. I think I saw Batman, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it was a couple of. It was a few, man. Uh, That brought back the old old enemies. Yes. Uh, I love the fact what Bugs represented in the movie. Bugs. <laughs> um, I like how... I don't mean to just take every take. Right, mm. Go ahead. I like that the villain was something that kids of this generation can relate to. A algorithm. Yeah. yeah. They Al- sit up G-rhythm. on the computer yeah, yeah. and on their phones and... Like, they get it. They understand exactly what that means. I mean, you know, Al G rhythm. Right? Yeah, a little yeah. corny, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a kid movie, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. I 100% agree with everything you said. Um, I, I like the movie. Like, do I think it's better than Space Jam 1? No. Or Space Jam. No, because that was our generation. That's what we grew up on. Like, was this supposed to be Coach Carter? No, no. <laughs> it's a kids movie, you know. Like leave it to that. Don't make that was don't, the first thing like, What do you want not, it to be? It's not supposed to be meant to grab your heart. It's not supposed to be the best <laughs> sports movie ever in history. No, this is a kids movie, and LeBron did his part. Like I said, when I first watched the movie, I was being a critic, and I was like, maybe LeBron's not a good actor. But I think I was thinking about it too hard. So I asked my girl, I'm like, hey, how'd you think about LeBron's performance? She was like. I didn't pay no mind to it. It was fine, you know? And she was watching the movie from just a person watching the movie, you know, not critiquing him because he was a basketball star. And that's what everybody out here should do. Don't, don't, he's not trying to win a Grammy. You know, like, and this, is, this isn't supposed to be Coach Carter. It did its point. I think all the kids of this generation liked it. My daughter was looking at it, watching it. I don't mean to cut you off, but every kid I've asked loves it. Yeah, so it did its point. Did it do what it was supposed to do? Did it exceed its expectations? Yes. Kids well, are walking around with little... Financial-wise, it definitely Absolutely. Did. Kids are walking around with little figures of LeBron James. Mm-hmm. You know, and Bugs in their, in their jerseys. So, I think it was great. I think it did good. If, you, if you're if you looking at it to be your Space Jam, it's not. It's not going to be that. Here's the main thing. The first one wasn't even meant to be like what it became. It became a cult classic, one. Um, two, the first one was more geared towards like being a movie movie with Bill Bill Murray playing a like a strong not lead role but supporting cast role okay. as far as the comedy and them taking you with Michael Jordan like being in his life. Yeah, it took you from him playing in a game. I think it started off he was at. The, uh, on the court in a game against the Knicks. I just remember that scene a lot for some reason. <laughs> um, but it was like they were following Jordan in his life. The big dude, I forget his name. I'm well, sorry. yeah, they started from Michael Jordan shooting down when he was young. Remember yeah. When he was a kid, it started with, and it grew up into his life to where he was. This one was more LeBron life with his kids. kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So sure. I, I actually thought LeBron didn't do better back. Good job, yeah. Either. Um, I, I think it was great. I loved the whole movie. Give me your 
what did you like about the movie? And then we'll get into the dislike. So, um, like what you did said, you like? the the very my favorite part of it was the message as far as like find out what your kids are interested in and help them with that. Don't just push something up on them that they might not want. You know, like it's a new generation. It's basically saying like. These kids are a different generation than what we were. There's yes. a whole bunch of more stuff. There's a lot of technology stuff going on. Oh. And if that's what they're into, you know, follow those and support, support it. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I love that. And uh, I, like I that think too. that was the number one thing. Um, I liked. I liked that they didn't make them play an actual basketball game. They added more to it so mm-hmm. it wouldn't be just like. I like the fact that they weren't trying to make it the first one. Put it that way. Okay. That was my. That was the second best thing I liked about it. it. I don't think they were even trying to come close to what the first one did. That's and that, that was, was the main. That now that might have been my number one. Like the yeah. fact that they made it its own, own movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. And that was and that was. It wasn't like oh, um, they had to go fight 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 the same people. Yeah. And, you know, like I love was, that that yeah. they didn't just make it like, oh, we gotta come back. This is revenge, yeah, yeah. Part two and now we need LeBron James. Yeah. Like, yeah, it wasn't that. So it was but it was cool. What what did you dislike about it? What were some things? My dislike would be what I did not like at all, like in no type of shape or form was I hate to say this. I didn't like none of the supporting cast acting. Mm. I felt as if... When you say supporting cast, who are you speaking of as far as the little boy, the okay. mom? That that part. I felt... It's not that they did a bad job with the mom and the rest of the family as mm-hmm. far as... I think it was, what was the uncle. They had a brother and then, yeah, another guy came in. Yeah, yeah. yeah something weird. I felt as if, like, we didn't get really no scenes of them, really. Yeah, and nothing pop defining. The, yeah, that's I true. mean, the uncle or cousin or whatever he was, he was kind of funny in the way. Where everybody go? I want to. Yeah, I yeah. want to be in there too. Yeah, but yeah. There was no like just. There was no time for. They him didn't build him yeah. up to for him to be a funny character in the show in the movie. I know what you're saying exactly. Exactly. Um, I didn't like. The the when they sit at the table and they explained algae rhythm and all of that for LeBron to be in like the movies and stuff. I didn't like that part. I think it was a little a little off. Like everybody in there was kinda off. I think the acting You say that bad. I didn't think LeBron's acting was good in that scene. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The that, way he was like no. That whole scene was a little weird to me. But other once they got into the like computer or was running around, that was a little better. But but that like scene to me was really bad for some reason. I also did not like. I think the biggest thing I didn't like was the other players that they put in the mm. in in the movie. I didn't like that either. Like, I didn't like how they didn't highlight. Yeah, the they didn't even talk about one star team. Exactly. Like I, I wanted to see that as far as watching mm-hmm. the old movie. I wanted to see how they went and got Charles Barkley. Yeah. How they did all that. I wish they would have. Put some type of part in that in this movie, like, yeah. Because when the movie starts and then they're showing like LeBron's, uh, all uh, his accolades and stuff, like everything he's done, I felt the old movie coming back. You remember, like, when yeah. they were showing him go dunk and all, of, you know, like I felt the old movie then, and I think that would have helped me feel the old movie too. So the fact that they went away from the last movie was great. But I wish they would have still put a little more from the last movie into it. I agree. But I agree. Um, yeah, that was my likes and dislikes on it too, as well. We pretty much agree a lot on it. Um, yeah, but overall, it was a great movie. Before we move on, give me an overall grade. You can go out of five stars or out of a hundred. Or I, I would say, I would say it's a. I mean, for what it's worth. It's a four star. Watching it, it's a four star. Am I going to go watch this movie every day? No. No. Am I? Am I probably going to see this movie again? Maybe. Yes. I'm. Go that's what times. I will say about it. I might watch this. Yeah. Maybe two or three more times. It's not going to be like, a, oh, let's put this movie on. You know. Like, yeah. No. 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 This one of those. Oh, that song. Yeah. I, I watch. But it. But how many times have you seen the first one in the in the last couple of years? I haven't not much. So so it's not like I'm watching that one either. You yeah. know, like that's not a daily play. It's not a so, go to. Yeah. But it's a four for all it's worth. Okay. Yeah. I give it overall who's up sports review. 
<laughs> four out of five. Four stars. Halftime. Let's end that quarter right now, man. Yeah. Halftime. Blue face bleed him. <laughs> uh dang man, I'm what's his song? Uh Tatiana bust down, down Tatiana, Tatiana, Tatiana. Tatiana. Yeah. He was busting something down. Uh-oh. He fought a TikToker and in a bare knuckle boxing celebrity match. Yeah. Not just regular boxing. So I mean I mean, they still had gloves, but these mm-hmm. gloves are obviously smaller. Yeah, real quarter thin. Ounce. Yeah, they're yeah. real thin, so you can you can actually feel a knuckle. I mean, it wasn't like BFC real bare knuckles because they really just be wrapping their hands, it. and just they really tight. just be uh-huh. it. They had a little bit more in them, but did you see it? I saw it. It was a beat down. Okay, the fight, yeah, the, the it fight was, itself, the fight down. itself was a beat down. It was. I, I was one. Oh, oh breaking <laughs> news! <laughs> Whoa, news. Carmelo Anthony. That is crazy. To the Los Angeles Lakers for all those out there. Um, I really wanted to talk talk and bring up this blue face thing though know, because it ties into what we have been talking about previous episodes as far as fan decor when mm-hmm. it comes to sporting events because once again out there. Yeah, we gotta start having like a counter or something for like things of this. What it <laughs> pops up and it's just like fan, <laughs> fan number three, four. Another fan decided to get involved. Yeah, it looked like a really weird <laughs> altercation. It was after the fight, after Blueface had won. I don't know if the fan was related to or wanted the other guy to. Win. I just want to know because, but look, but look, before you say anything, I don't think he was related to that guy. Because the guy trainer got mad and wanted to fight him, too. Oh, okay. So, the other guy's trainer. Yeah. Okay. I don't... Or well, maybe, maybe he was mad because he was, like, embarrassing them, too. I don't know. I don't know. I really would like to know what the, really happened. The backstory yeah, on this. It was a little weird, but uh, Blueface looked like he was ready for round two. <laughs> Match two. Fan came, For y'all that didn't see, the fan came in after Blueface beat up. The TikToker. You know, I don't want to give this guy's name out after that poor performance. Uh, <laughs> but fan came in, they exchanged words, and uh, we just saw rock em, sock em. Mm-hmm. <laughs> More fun than a pillow fight. <laughs> but yeah. Um, your thoughts as far as what do you think was going on in the fan's mind? I don't know. Um, obviously, this wasn't a this wasn't a normal event, um, so that's probably why he slipped up and got through there because they're not used to people who are doing that. It's not a routine thing for them to be the security and know who is who, you know. So he that's why he probably slipped through there. But yeah, because it was like some crips that got yeah, in the ring too. That was, was, it was like, like whoa. Yeah, it was like gangs. <laughs> it was a whole bunch of stuff going on on a, in a ring and. I think that's just gonna come with the rappers and YouTubers trying to do this fight and stuff. I think that's just something, some kinks that they have to figure out. Before we move on, I will say this though: if you decide to run out there in some combat sports, you deserve to get beat up. Yeah. You deserve yeah. them to put them hands on you. That's all I will say about that, man. Mm-hmm. Do you think so? Yeah, I mean, hey, I don't know if you know, I I don't know if you know, but like it's a history going back so far with wrestling that like people like try to run into the ring and they pan off screen and the wrestlers whoop the hell out of Uh, the ring. I didn't know that. Chris Jericho and I believe Triple H are like notorious for whooping the dog mess out of some <laughs> random guys. Hey, and that's that's how it should be. That, that's the only way that will show them to stop. Yeah, don't know? do this. Yeah, stop doing it. Uh, you saw you heard what happened to the last security guard. I think we would do that in a tox- Tyson fight. Yeah. Nah, ain't nobody running up to him. Mike! Mike! <laughs> that's the clock, man. <laughs> Let's see. It's a quarter three. NFL, y'all. NFL. Oh, what? Whoa. The first one. Well, not the first one because we've talked about it a little bit, but back to it. Back again for the quarter three, man. Here we are. 
the question is, is this the end of an era? Mm. And what we're talking about is Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Is this the end of the era, man? Uh, I think so. I think so. I think them tweeting that last dance picture wasn't for show. Him and um, Adams. Devontae. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tweeted the... Our, I don't know if they posted on Instagram or where they mm-hmm. posted. Instagram. It was a IG story. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. So... I think and that was it. He's like, this is it for me. I'm going to play this one year. We're going to give it all we got. Try to win. And we're done here. And I, I think it should be. I think that should be it. What you think? It's about time mm. to wrap it up and end it. Um, Aaron Rodgers, for years, I've always wondered out there and looked at him play and wonder, why won't they spend any money? I just... They did it that one year they got who? Darius Smith and Preston Smith for the defense. But as far as offensive weapons, he's never gotten anything. I and I've never understood it. And then all day at Scanton. <laughs> like when guys like Julio Jones are coming around for uh, twenty cent on the dollar. That's true. Uh Odell has been traded. That's true. Um it's yes. been numerous of weapons out there. Antonio Brown, they didn't even take a shot at. I mean, I understand why, but but, but you could have taken that been chance. Le'Veon yeah. Bell on mm-hmm. those lines. Mm-hmm. So, um there's been numerous of stars out there available, ready, and there's no way you can tell me or lie to me. How about that? I'll just frame it that way. There's no way you can lie to me. And tell me that none of the free agents or trade block players that have been around and out there would not have chosen to play with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, And he's still been killing it. Like, he was the MVP with Adams only. Literally, only Adams was his... A receiver that... That's it. That's worth mentioning. Put it that way. And... They got to do better, man. As an organization, they have to do better. They lucked up with Aaron Jones. Yeah, he just became a stud. And I'm not going to lie. I don't think he'll stick around for too long. Mm, especially if Rodgers leaves anywhere soon. So. Um, <laughs> do you feel as if when we say last dance, and I also asked the end of an era, obviously I asked, was this the end of the Packers era for him? Mm-hmm. Is oh. this the end of an era for Aaron Rodgers completely as an NFL quarterback? I, I think not. I uh, what I, I think he's around what thirty three maybe. I don't know exactly how old he is, but might be a little older. Yeah, um, I, he still has a lot of. I mean, he just won the MVP. A lot of football left. A lot of football sure. left in him. Sure, if he sure. goes to a decent team that can protect him, you see what Tom Brady's doing. We thought, oh, Tom Brady was done. You know, oh, he went to Tampa Bay. I definitely thought he was. Ha ha, yeah. Like, uh, now what you gonna do? Aaron Rodgers is 37 years old. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's old. (laughs) But yeah, he still got. He can play till 40, and that's three years. Mm -hmm. So I'll give him that. What? Shit. What is Brady? 40? 42, 43? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, so he can play. I mean, as long as they protect him. His his offense is a little different than Brady's, where he's way, way more mobile, and that's gonna slow down a little bit. And that's probably why he gets a little more hurt than. than Tom Brady does because Tom Brady knows how to just dink it down and mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers wants the big play all times but I don't think they've ever tried to help him him winning that Super Bowl was him by himself and I think after if you have a quarterback on your team that's only won one Super Bowl or something I think they disrespect them more than anybody like Brett Favre and, but everybody in that organization has kind of been like that it's like a revolving door in Green Bay yeah. they keep doing this to their great Quarterbacks. I don't know why. As if like they're gonna keep getting great quarterbacks. Yeah, but they do. They got Jordan <laughs> Love <laughs> so, in the we'll tuck right now. We'll do. see what he'll do. Um. Okay, let me ask you this: Post Aaron Rodgers, how you think the Packers will be? They do have Jordan Love in the tuck. I mean, it'll take some years, but I think they'll be successful as far as nine and eight. You know, or. Or ten and ten and seven maybe. Wait, I'm about to, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm about to say let's add that extra game. Yeah, man. I did, I did. You nine, did, you like, did, you, you know. Did. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So maybe nine and eight, ten and seven. I think that's still successful. I mean, the division isn't that great. Who's in that division? What's uh, that? I don't want to lie. That's the Vikings. 
and the Chicago Bears. The Bears. And uh, uh, there's another team. Oh, yeah. It, it, That's what I'm saying. The Lions. The Lions. Yeah, yeah. So it's not, you know what I mean? Like, they can still win games because those teams are just not that great. I believe, um, what's his name? Uh, I believe what didn't they just put Kirk Cousins on the COVID list? So yeah, they did. I mean, I don't know how long that's gonna last, but yeah, I know this year for sure. Aaron Rodgers will still make the playoffs, and we'll see where they go from. They have a great offense, even with just those three players alone that we named. Who could you see him go to if he was to leave the Packers? I am completely biased, but I would say I I wouldn't see why a Washington football team wouldn't take a chance at him. I mean, Fitzpatrick is older than he is, so okay. Okay. I mean, why not get a better quarterback? Okay. You know, like we didn't draft one. We have Heineke. You know, like who wasn't supposed to be that great? Let me ask you something: Deshaun Watson or Aaron Rodgers? Right now, who would I take? Right now, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, right now with with all the stuff Deshaun Watson's going through, if He's not going to get suspended. Watson. For sure. 100%. I'm looking at my future. Like, no, that why, has, that's why I specifically said yeah. right now, though. But he can stay on my team long term. Like, you're just saying for this, just this year? Yeah, just this Aaron year. Aaron Rodgers. 100%. If Washington could get him. I'd go Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I think he's I think he's more mature than than him and can be a more of a well, leader. I start talking about this team of yours, Terry McLaurin. Nah, don't be talking about. No, you can hop on the bandwagon right you now. Got the receiver on your we team. We got uh, Samuels from uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I noticed. The, the Panthers picked up somebody. Another we have player. Gibson, who is our running back, who is great, and we have a bunch of young people behind him. I don't Nah, he's a great running back. We gonna see y'all gonna see this year. We gonna talk more about it. For Chase sure. Young, yeah, but. That. We have a, the best defense in the league. Chase Young, other than that. All right, we're going to see. <laughs> Sweat, all of them are good. We're going to see. Montez Sweat. We're going to see, though. He is decent. We're going to see. Uh, ending up this quarter, man, before we get out of it, because time is ticking, will the Packers win a Super Bowl this year? It's the last dance. I think they have a shot just like anybody. The NFL is like any it's given such Sunday. It's a crap shoot, yeah. Yeah, so if they stay healthy, if Adams can stay healthy, I wouldn't see why not. If Aaron Rodgers and Adams can stay healthy, I don't see why not. Why not? Why would they wouldn't have a chance? I believe you'll see them in the NFC Championship game. I think they're better than Tampa Bay. Whoa. They got everybody back. And they're better than Tampa Bay. I mean, they, I think they lost because of a fluke field goal that they took, which for no reason. So if that wouldn't have happened, who knows what would happen? I don't think Tampa Bay is that good. We almost beat Tampa Bay with Heineke. We were the closest team to beating them with with the third string quarterback. That goes into another one of my crazy takes. Tom Brady gets every fifty fifty call, <laughs> but it happens. Seriously. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go ahead. Hop in the quarter four. End it off for this episode. Knee deep in the thick of it. The 2021. Into the thick of it? That's what you, that's what you, that's what you think. Into the thick of it? Wow. 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Have you been paying attention? And here's the real question about this 2021 Olympics. Does anybody care about the Olympics oh, anymore? Man. Um, I don't know if it's my surroundings, but I absolutely do. I've I've been watching it everywhere I've went, and the people around me have been watching it. So, is it because they want to and turn to it, or is it because I even tell you this: if you have an Amazon Fire Stick out there, mm-hmm. they automatically just load it to the top of your screen. It's right there. Um. If you have some cable, I don't know about all cable outlets, but they have that as like a yeah, permanent when I turn, section. When now. I turn on my cable, the first thing that's on is the Olympics. The Olympics. And I don't change it, so. That's what I'm saying. I, is I it think, people's choice? or I think they are forcing it, but I like sports in general. So me turning, me, I wouldn't turn that off. Like, I don't care. I promise I've watched <laughs> water polo. The, I don't know if you've seen it's like a. A, a, a woman that kind of heavy set that throws the uh, little the ball uh, yeah or whatever she throws yeah. and she has like 
hair. Nah. She wears like the Hulk mask. Nah. And she she's funny you nice know, like, you need to look up. She is super funny. Like she like act like she was running track. She got on a little track thing. She big, you know, like but I'm at the And she like but she's real funny. Like I just been paying and you know, like the Jamaican girls. I've watched they've that. They've been killing the track race. Dominate. Kill, dominate. Um, our swimming team, of course, the United States swim team. I was watching that. The little girl is like, they both name. Um, they got the same name. What is it? Uh, Ledecky, whatever the first her first name is. I don't remember right now. But our swim team's been killing. It. She's nineteen and she was doing. She came in second behind her. So they've been doing good. Gymnastics held the Gymnastics down, even, even with Simone Biles yep, yep. taking us taking brief. her leave. Or Just whatever. but brief. She came yeah, back. Yeah, got the bronze. The one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I've been watching them. Uh, the girl Suni did the all around. I need to tune into Olympic boxing. I kind of been boycotting the past couple of years because they have been robbing people, mm-hmm. like blatant robberies yeah. the past few Olympics. But it seems as if since there's a spotlight on this Olympics, it does seem like this is. That's a, what I'm saying. I think. Everyone's reinvented. I don't know why. Re-invent. And it's probably because we haven't seen so many sports that this is just, we're loving it. Like, I'm loving it. Our USA soccer team lost, the girls. Uh, it's just, I promise you, I turned on fencing. We were, wow. fencing was on, and we were like into it. Like, all of us were like, oh, go, hit her, hit her. Like, I prom- I'm not even kidding. Fencing and uh, archery, they were shooting, and it wasn't even the <laughs> USA person. It was like, we don't even know where they were from. I will say that. I have found myself just watching, for sure, the track events. Mm-hmm. I watched the long jump, too. Yeah. Which was crazy to me. Because this young kid jumped. He jumped far as hell. I don't know his <laughs> name. But Shannon Sharp, whoever Shannon Sharp was talking about. Because yeah, when I, yeah. I went to Twitter to find his name out. Yeah, and Shannon is. was the first person. Like, oh, my God. I that guy was like, yeah. That that's, was, that's what I was watching. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I mean, uh, even, okay. I'll go to another extent. My friend Nico, he was um he snapped us in our little group chat that we have, and he was like, I don't know what y'all missing. And he watching water polo at work, so it's right. on. You know what I mean? Like I think they're giving awareness to it, and then now everybody is just watching yeah. it. You know, so which is good for the world. But I say this: look, through this, I found myself. I definitely care because I found myself just watching. Not even Team USA. Yeah, it was like just just watch. That's what I'm saying. Just the archery watch. game wasn't even Team USA. I was like, go, go. Like, it's crazy. I'm a huge critic on women's basketball. Not because of anything misogynistic or anything like that. It's because I pay attention to the turnover ratios, and I just think they can improve their game a little bit. Mm-hmm. But the women of Team USA have been balling. Yeah, I liked. I don't know if you've seen. I liked they did Team USA Women versus the WNBA All Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The USA versus. That's um, so cool to me. And they lost. <laughs> but that's they cool lost. to yeah, tell that me. Crazy. That was their All Star game. I think the men. I think. What's up, man? Don't we need the well? We, like we, we did it with first. The glow trotters. We did it first. No, not the glow trotters. Don't do that. <laughs> but I'm saying. I'm saying. There's we, a lot more things that. Sports can do Yeah absolutely 100% But we started it with the We do international versus USA yeah. But it's our Our younger guys yeah. All the young ones That also Brings me to I think Team USA Basketball Men's Should start incorporating The younger guys more Yeah I mean MLS does it too They're, they're all starting I mean they have the The Under league yeah, yeah. USA under mm-hmm, the the under nineteen or whatever it is, <laughs> but our our MLS team, the soccer team, plays against a, oh the a world team, teams, yeah, a team from yeah. So yeah, definitely. I think they enter, they do it a little bit, but I think they should do it more. One hundred percent. I'm enjoying the Olympics. That's what I say. <laughs> that's my. Overall. I like it. I, I hope I hope all of I'm you enjoying are enjoying it. the Olympics as well. Uh, before we wrap and get out of here, man. For this episode, what you been up to, man? Nothing, man. Working. Work, 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 yeah, work. That's it. That's same it. old, same old. Same old, same old. Finally gifted him the Luca. Yep, yep. Giannis is coming soon. Mm hmm. 
basketball is over. Not over, but season. Yeah. yeah. NFL is coming in. I'm excited. I think we should do something special out there for the listeners during fantasy. What you want to do? Halftime should be some type of coverage of what's going on. Oh, okay. I think we should do a whole little video, though, for sure. Like its own separate entity? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do, too. Whole, okay, put a whole video out of our draft and when we do it and everything like that. Who we get, what players we get, who made the right team, whose team is better. Projections. Like, definitely we should do something towards... Uh, shout out to Z, man. Um, how he does his weekly... Yeah, yeah. We can read it or something. <laughs> What is it? He trying to be the the Swami? Yeah, uh, yeah. Chris Berman? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, man. It's been another episode of Who's Up. I'm your main man, DJ Premium J, and I'm here with my main man. F you to the ego. Fuego, the man with the biggest ego. And this has been another episode of Who's Up. We out. Peace.